tamper on them. The purpose is to check the anti-tamper mechanism. We will do this in two main steps. First, we will create a project thanks QBDE for a nucleo, and we create a code which configure the tamper and put some data in the backup register. Then in the second time, we will simulate a tamper event thanks the push button and check the backup register content. Let's switch to STM32 cube IDE. Let's create the project for our Nucleo L476 RG. Board selector. And I just give the name, temper test, for example, default location, and initialize all peripheral with the default mode. So what will interesting us will be the lead that we will use and the blue button uh, where we will check, I will say the temper one, because temper one can also be assigned to this one. You can see RTC temp one. So the tempering is linked to the RTC domain, so we need to configure it. So in the timer, we've got RTC, will activate the clock source and say, I can't activate temper one because there is a conflict with PC12. So what I will do, I will just reconfigure this pin and say it was a RTC temper pin. That way we can select it. And now we've got the press button will be like an event in the temper pin. But let's set the parameters of this. So you've got the temper, no filter, you've got the sampling frequency of this pin and the pull up is enabled. And what I want is to I have a trigger on the falling edge when I press the button. That's it. I would like also to have an interrupt when this uh, event uh, happen. I think everything is in place now. Let's generate the code. So, quite simple. There is just initialization of the RTC. Before I go, then we've got the RTC with all the default value and the RTC temper that is activated with interrupt associated, okay? So I propose to add the code back because we can go in the interrupt file. We can see that it will call some HL temper yeah, Q handler, and then there is a callback that is defined already in the HL. To find the exact name of this callback, let's open the IDE file or the source file of etcx.c. If I'm looking to all weak function, those that I can, I will say, redeclared, timestamp event, no, wake up, no, alarm, no, temper one, even call back. So it's exactly what I want to redefine. So I will put it in my main, in this user code, for example. And what I will do on this event, I will just toggle the lead pin. Let's toggle the pin, LD2, control space for completion. I propose to test first this code. That means when I will press the button, there is this EAQ that will arrive and this callback will be cool and I will toggle the lead pin. Let's pull this. Okay, then I will flash it.
I run the code and let's let's push the button. You can see that it's toggling the lead as expected. Okay, so we have a detection of the tamper. Now I propose to put some data in the backup registers and see that it are well erased on such kind event. So let's stop the debugging for the moment. Oh no, should have done terminate, sorry. It will relaunch it, unfortunately. So here, I just want to terminate and remove. So let's modify the code now. So in my main here, I will try to put some data in the backup registers, okay? So it was an RTCX, and we want to write to back. Well, that's exactly what we want to do, backup register write. So we just need pointer on the structures. Here we just need to put RTC backup data register zero, for example. And let's put it's whatever we want, dead zero 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 one. Let's do the same in the second data backup register. Okay, so let's compile this. And now let's debug. So I will do a step by step. Let's check the RTC there. We've got backup registers. And here I wrote in it dead 001 and the second one 002. If I let, let the code running, just interrupt, those values are still there. Now I will just put breakpoint in the interrupt. So really on the temper uh, EIQ handler. Then I go, if I press now the blue button, automatically, I will stop here for sure, but what you can see is the backup registers have been erased. So it show you, I will say this security, on this event, automatically, the backup register are erased. So if you have put there some secret, and you have a, a tempering detection, then you can see that it was erased. I think what I would like to show you during the hands-on, thanks for your attention.